Hi, yeah, I just wanted to do a quick little EHR tabbed notebook walkthrough. Uh, so some EHRs have the panels on the left-hand side where you kind of your workflow is from top to bottom. Uh, tab notebook is a little bit different. It's kind of left to right. Uh, those are just good rules to remember whenever you're in electronic health records of any sort. Normally, it's a uh, it's just how we read, you know, left to right, top top down. So we're gonna take a look at that, and I'll just kind of walk through a little bit um, some of this EHR. So we've already selected. A demo patient we've already selected to visit normally what will happen is a lot of electronic health records will start out by opening up on either either a privacy tab or notifications so you could go through and start to process your notifications uh, remember earlier too that this is also a place where you can schedule notifications for yourself as a reminder kind of like a electronic sticky note or for other people to review things like labs in the future or to make a phone call Next, you kind of come over here and you start to do the review. So we're basically, this is just a dashboard for all your patients. So you'll come in here, you'll kind of see, here's the active problems, here's the medications, here's the adverse reactions. You could also kind of dive into some of these. So if I wanted to look at like basically a past appointment, I can double click on it and it'll give me information about who checked that patient in, who did the vitals, et cetera. These are also stackable. So you can stack by category. Uh, etc and stuff like that. All right, so now we're going to move along and we're going to go to triage. So in this particular one, uh, this is where you would enter your chief complaint. So who's our room and the patient would come in at, you know, cough for three days. Uh, they would also come over here and start to enter the vitals in the lower right hand corner. Now this particular EHR has their tabs kind of uh, located as in this triage one. Uh, this is where you could go over reproductive history. They could go over infant feeding, uh, personal health, and this is uh, the behavioral health and pH and activity time. This is actually crucial, uh, crucial for billing and behavioral health. You have to put a time in here uh, for how long you spoke to the patient, um, you know, whether it be 15 minutes or 60 minutes, et cetera. So now we're gonna move over here to health history. This is really where we get a lot of our Gipper measures from our UDS, HRSA grants, uh, any kind of uh, grant that we might have out there, this is where we can track these things. So we want to get these things in here and we want to get them blue. Uh, you can do it this way by manually adding and we can manually add and we can create our own little pick list of the things that we have to do like tobacco use, quit, uh, our SBIRT brief intervention, obesity exercise, childhood weight control, stuff like that. You could also go to the category uh, take a look at that and then this is like would be all of the measures all at once so there's a lot more in here and you have to go find what you're looking for so here would be the alcohol and other drugs here would be the third one down yeah it would be brief negotiated intervention this is one of our measures that we strive to meet now moving over uh, we would go into problem management this is the IPL integrated problem list etc uh, we can go here and we can add manually by typing in search for the age of Google. So sometimes you just search uh, for what we want. And I'm just going to, I can't read what I'm writing. The text is so small here. But I'm just going to search for something, find an ICDN code that looks close to it. Uh, wow, there's some fun ones in here. So I'm just going to pick one that I do not think is on the problem list. So here we can also set it as use as the purpose of visit for today. But when you select use as the purpose of visit today, we can go down here to this button, add visit instruction, care plan, and goal and activities. And we can actually start to put in plans that we might have for this patient. We can do goals, uh, visit, so visit instructions, goals, and care plans. This also is associated with a data object that will pull into your note title. And as you keep updating this, it will keep showing up on your uh, note title or your note. Uh, sometimes people use like the brief soap or something like that. That data object will actually pull in there. And you can see what you spoke to the patient on these problem lists by date. So you can kind of say, oh, I already talked to you about this uh, two weeks ago. You could also perform educations that are directly tied into this problem on the problem list and directly tied into this purpose of visit, which is important uh, for billing purposes.
So I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of uh, educations, and then I'm going to say OK. All right, so now I'm kind of, again, I'm moving left to right. Uh, I'm going to say don't sign right now because I have to sign all at the end, and then I'll say save. Okay, so now from here, so we came into this tab right here, problem management. We have a bunch of other things that we can look at. We can talk to them about family history. We can do historical services. This is an immensely important for a lot of our grants that we have because this is where we can enter that they've already had a colonoscopy elsewhere. They've already had a mammo elsewhere. They've already, you know, had a pap elsewhere. We even do a lot of uh, STD stuff, so we can enter chlamydia, hep C, HIV if they know their status. This tab is where we would enter patient goals. So uh, this comes in a little bit handier as we evolve in our maturity of the EHR. We can start setting goals. This is really good at a behavioral health level too, where behavioral health groups will come in here and start really working with the patient on this is what we want you to do. Nutritionists use this a lot, uh, dietitians. Uh, you'll even see sometimes PT folks. And then we got a couple other tabs here, but we're going to keep moving along. So next it looks like there is prenatal. So where, again, we can go into some of the reproductive history uh, stuff and measurements. Here is well child. Uh, you actually have to be on a child of age for this to happen. And then you can start to pull up some of these charts. Here we have meds. We can see and enter meds. So you can go over here and you can add a new med. And you can pick, is this an outpatient med? Or is this an outside medication? So this would be non-prescribed, herbal, or inpatient. So if you have inpatient or not, uh, we can select what kind of med and where that's coming from to update our medications. As you start to do these things, you notice when we messed with the problem list, up here you see that turned green, the problem list. You also notice that adverse reactions, uh, if we were to go in and update that the patient has a new allergy or no known allergies, it would update here. And if we were to add a medication or review this, it would come up here. If not, you can just double click on that or single click on that and just say you reviewed it. There's no update. We can look at labs. This tab here, orders, is all of the orders. So this is consults, referrals. This would also be medications. This would be labs. They kind of show up in one place. We also have pick lists created that we can order uh, from here. So I have to. Uh, it looks like I have to pick, pick this, but I'm not going to go ahead and make myself a provider. But you can order from these pick lists that we can manage and design for you. We can set it up specifically like by disease or we can set it up by body part. Now we're moving along to the super bill. Again, we have these pick lists uh, that we can manage. So this is a pick list for BH group. I'm going to go ahead and say show all, and I'm going to look at the pick list for behavioral health. So let's say you're doing a counseling H0001, or is that, yeah, H0001, alcohol and other drug assessment. So you're doing an assessment or something like that. You can go ahead and pick that, and it would actually show up as a visit of something that you proceeded to do. So this is where we see behavioral health kind of uh, utilizes this a lot. We also have other things like casts or removal sutures, or obviously like an injection or something like that that you can do. Uh, and then we have the basically over here you have your 99212s, 99213s, 99214s. And then finally here we have the notes. And so this is kind of like the full quick walkthrough of you know what we would do in a visit. And this is really pertaining to these are like the basics that we kind of need. So we can create new notes. I have mine defaulted to chart reviews. And so it would actually open up as a chart review. We can also create with this one up here, quick notes, which is pretty nice. Uh, but finally, the other thing that we can do, so I'm just free texting in here, is we can create templates. And these are pretty nice because they can kind of give you these uh, these things that a, this is, looks like what this, this group of folks are using. So I'm just messing around. We have the basic notes. So I can just do a basic quick, probably like a brief soap. Subjective, objective, there you go. Or uh, we can do another whole thing where we actually, and I'll show you, we can tie in note titles to specific templates that actually give us these credits. So I'm going to go look at this one template that we call the screening bundle. I'm going to say OK. And
what we should be able to do is create templates that actually tie in uh, to, to note titles. So this does not seem to be set up here. In a lot of places it is. So let's take, let me take one more look at that. Did I, I'm changing that to the IHF screen level. I'll say okay for IFHC screen. It doesn't look to be pulling that in just yet. <clears throat> but that's okay. But this bundle looks like this. So I'm gonna manually uh, throw this up. So, but we can tie it into note tiles. It looks like it just has not been done here yet. So what this will do was pull up a dialog, but these dialogs are different than templates. Not only can they pull information in, they can push information out. And that's where this starts to become important. So let's say I wanted to do um, an activity screen. I can come in here, I can look at their activity level and it gives you a little scripting. So we can say that the patient is active because they fit that. And then we can come over here and then we can say, give them an education. And I can also default these measures to certain times, like two minutes, three minutes, four minutes. Uh, so if we ever need to do that, uh, just let us know and we can do that. Let's say they're eager to learn. And I can say finished. So not only does this put this in the note for you, if we were to go back over here to the health history and wellness, you start to see that it's pushing it over to where we get those Gipper credits. And that's why it's extremely important. So I uh, hope this uh, helps you guys and I hope you enjoyed look at, watching this video. And it's just your basic EHR walkthrough, the things that we kind of need uh, to bill out and have a complete visit. Thank you very much.